Hello, hello. Welcome to my kitchen. Shawnee here. We're going to make some fruit salsa together, which would be the perfect thing to bring with you to your Thanksgiving dinner this evening. And it's going to take like no time at all. And here's what you're going to need. And I bet you maybe minus the cranberries, which, you know, not everybody has cranberries. But if minus that, you probably have everything on hand. Maybe, maybe, or maybe it's just me. <laughs> But guess what? Hey, the stores are still open, you guys. You guys have time. Go run and get some ingredients. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a cup of cranberries or strawberries. You could use strawberries if you don't have cranberries on hand. You are going to need a half a cup of red grapes. Uh, these guys these guys cost a small fortune today. I'm telling you, we picked these up. A little bunch of grapes was like 10 Scrapes used to be like so inexpensive. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, we need half a cup of walnuts. You're going to juice a half a lemon. You're going to need some Greek yogurt or sour cream works as well. Um, and uh, what else? You're going to want two tortillas. Now, this is called for like taco size tortillas. This is what we have on hand. We're going to use this and we're going to make it work and it'll be just fine. A little bit of sugar, some cinnamon, some butter, and I think that's it, you guys. Let's just double check. Let me just double check, make sure we have everything here. Sugar, cinnamon, melted butter, tortillas, cranberries. Oh, oh, I forgot. In one small apple, and we're using a little Granny Smith apple because that's just what we had on hand. It doesn't matter what type of apple you're using. Let's get started, you guys. All right, first up, we're gonna make those tortilla chips because they probably take the most amount of time. Now, if you have an air fryer, you could totally make this in the air fryer, but I'm gonna show you a little hack, a little life hack. We're gonna make these guys in the microwave. Because first, we're gonna start with grabbing a tortilla, okay? Then we're going to go melt our butter in the microwave. And that was one tablespoon of butter. And to that we're going to add a half a tablespoon of just white sugar. Mm -hmm. Put that aside. We'll need that guy later. And we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We're using Karinji cinnamon, which we have right now for a limited time for the holidays, which is the best, the best, the best. I, you guys have to try this cinnamon. It's just so good. It's so cinnamony. Just going to mix that up. Then I'm going to grab my pastry bar brush. We're just going to brush that all over our tortilla. It smells so good. I just want to eat all of it <laughs> right now. Okay. Then we're just going to cut it up. Actually, look at that. We're just going to cut it all up into chips. of that on my stone you guys so nothing sticks because it is butter after all now this little stone could totally go in your air fryer and it goes in your microwave or it goes in your oven um, but like I said we're gonna life hack here we're gonna throw it in the microwave and it's gonna bake up and it's gonna be amazing We're just coating everything in that cinnamon, sugar, butter mixture. Here she goes. Into the microwave, two minutes. Okay, after two minutes, um, they still need some more time, so we'll throw them back in for another minute. Trust the process, friends. Just, just trust the process. It will all come together and work out. While we're waiting on that, we'll go ahead and start making our fruit salsa. We're going to cut the lemon in half. We're going to 
energy sacai using our citrus press I'm just going to squeeze out half of that lemon juice I'll just show you what's happening here. So we, the minute just finished. They're just about done. They're getting crispy. They're starting to bubble up. Um, we're going to try another 45 seconds or so to a minute. And they're done. So you guys, please don't try this without a stone. They're super hot, but they crisped up. They bubbled up. They are a perfect crispy cinnamon chip in the microwave. Please try it with a stone. We've juiced half of our lemon. We're going to add half a cup of Greek yogurt. Our measure all measuring cup. Add that to the lemon juice and to that mix we're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar our electric twist and chop it's the new tool the pampered chef and it's my favorite new workhorse in my kitchen I'm gonna get started by adding our one cup of cranberries and an apple we're gonna go ahead and core our apple using our core tool so to core an apple we're just going to line up the core with the center and give it a twist Pull that out and it'll release your core. Okay, and just check it out. Just be sure you've got all the cores. Sometimes uh, cores and apples are funny. So I'm just going to give that a rough chop. Rough chop. So we're going to give it a pulse. Like seriously, you guys, I love this guy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. That's crazy. Crazy. All right. I can't go too crazy. <laughs> I mean, I want to, but. So we're going to empty that and look at that. That is wild to me. Absolutely wild that that chopped that in seconds. Like it's perfect. Like the salsas we made. You guys are insane. Um, okay, so we're going to uh, put these into our bowl. Look at the color, like that color. Oh, that color is so good. I, I didn't think I could love any tool in my kitchen more than my manual food processor. This one's it. This one is like the must have of the season. We're gonna do the same with the grapes. Grapes are going into our twist and chop. Everybody needs to be twist and chopping. Okay. Can you see that? Like... So why this works different than a regular food processor is because the blades go up and down. They're twisting and chopping and doing fun fancy, fancy things. And just like that, like it's ready to roll in our salsa. This is crazy, 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 crazy. Crazy how quick this comes together. We're adding the walnuts. 
And we're gonna mix that up. And it's gonna make this beautiful pink dip. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty the oh, that's so pretty. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. All right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it, guys. We're gonna get one of our microwaved uh, homemade tortilla chips. Like, like, do you hear that? Crunchy, crispy, delicious. Okay, let's try it. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's so good. Okay, that's so good. Mmm. That's awesome. Okay, everybody needs to try make that. Let me know in the comments if you do make that. And I want to see a picture. Show me a picture. I'd love to see. All right, chat with you later. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining me on our cook along. Bye for now.